Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking all about drugstore dupes. I have not done a dupe video on my channel in a really long time, so I figured it was about time that I whipped one up. There's very few things that are as as satisfying to me as finding a drugstore alternative to a very expensive product. There, It just like soothes my soul in a very satisfying way. So as I was putting all of these dupes together, I started to realize that all of the high-end products that I was pulling are actually products that I love, that I use all the time. Like they're some of my favorites. So I decided to focus the entirety of this dupe video all on high-end products that are some of my favorites. And I'm giving you guys some drugstore alternatives to these very, very great product. Please, in the comments down below, let me know if you have any other drugstore dupes that you'd like to share with the class because I feel like everybody would very much appreciate it. I'm gonna start off with a banger. Oh, what is that right here? Oh, is it just the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer, AKA one of my all-time favorite bronzers? It is. Did I find a product that pretty much dupes this perfectly? Oh yeah. I did. So you may be thinking to yourself, Jamie, you've duped this product before. And I know I have, and over the years, I've definitely found a couple products that I think are totally comparable and very, very similar in tone, in texture, but, 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 I don't think I've ever found a drugstore product that is as similar to this bronzer as this guy right over here. So this guy over here is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the shade 21 Nude. Now this is not even supposed to be a bronzer. This is a face powder, but somehow it really does match the Tantastic Bronzer from Marc Jacobs pretty much perfectly. Color wise, side by side, you can see that these are pretty much completely spot on. I would say the Marc Jacobs one is like a hair deeper, but really on the skin, you cannot tell the difference at all. The main reason why I'm so excited about this dupe on top of the fact that they are really close in color is the actual texture. The texture of the Stay Matte powders from Rimmel are very, very smooth and buttery. Like they're the type of powders that really have very little kickback. So when they apply to the skin, they apply like a dream. They just blend, they don't over apply, they don't make you look patchy. So it really does apply perfectly. If I close my eyes and I touch both of these powders at the same time, I would not be able to tell a difference. So if you want something that is comparable in texture and in color and something that really does apply just as well with no compromises, this powder is amazing. Highly recommend. So next up, let's dupe one of my favorite foundations. This is the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. This is like a cult favorite. A lot of people really love this product. It works really, really well on dry skin in particular. It's just one of those foundations that melts into the skin and becomes one with the skin. So it doesn't look heavy, but it still gives you some really great coverage and it, it just has a really beautiful natural finish. I love this. I love this for events in particular. It's just a really great product. It's like one of my go-tos. So recently I have been testing out the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation. I believe this is a new product from Wet n Wild. It's obviously a stick foundation. And initially I thought that this would be a closer dupe to the Makeup Forever Stick Foundation, just honestly based off of the pack Packaging. It's a very, very similar uh, component, but as I continue to wear this product, I actually could not get over the fact of how much it reminded me of the Hourglass Vanish Foundation. The texture is almost identical when you compare them side by side. I feel like this product really does give my skin that same very natural looking but still full coverage look, and they wear also very similarly as well. And then when I swatched both of these colors side by side, I realized that the two shades matched each other also perfectly. Uh, this guy from Hourglass is in the shade Nude, and then the one from One and Wild that I use is Vanilla Beige, and they are literally the exact same color. I mean, that's not like the biggest deal in the world, but I just thought it was interesting that they really match each other pretty much perfectly. So if you are looking for a really great stick foundation and you want something that's literally like $5 that wears beautifully, that's super comparable to the Hourglass Vanish, I would definitely say to give the One and Wild one a try. I don't think you'll be disappointed. It really does make your skin look gorgeous, and it also photographs really, really well. Okay. A Another very exciting dupe that I discovered. This is one of my all-time favorite highlighters, and I do know that a lot of people really love this highlighter because when I did one of my testing my subscribers' favorite makeup products, a lot of you guys were saying that the NARS Fort de France is one of your favorite highlighters. So I found not one, but two other drugstore dupes. What I love so much about the NARS Fort de France highlighter is pretty much like the texture and just the way that it applies to the skin. Now, I am definitely way more of a cream highlighter gal. I prefer the way creams look on my skin because I 
sort of just prefer the way it sits on my skin. It doesn't accentuate texture. It gives me a really beautiful glossy glow. So when it comes to powder highlighters, I'm a little bit more picky because most powder highlighters sort of lean a little bit more on the intense side. This highlighter though is honestly like one of my most favorite powder highlighters because it applies to the skin in a way where it doesn't accentuate any texture. It's not unflattering, but it still gives you an incredible glossy gorgeous glow to the tops of your cheekbones or wherever you apply it and the color itself is also beautiful i love that it's like this soft peachy gold i just find it to be very flattering for my particular skin tone so the two highlighters that i found to be very very similar to the nars Forte de france are from pop beauty as well as pixies i have spoken about the pop beauty prismatic pop highlighter specifically in the shade gilded light for quite some time i feel like this is a super super underrated product this is probably one of the most gorgeous highlighters from the drugstore. Nobody talks about them. They are so creamy and buttery and very similar to the NARS Forte de France. It just like gives you an incredible glow, but because the formula is so smooth, it doesn't look stripey or unflattering or too metallic on tops of the cheekbones. As far as the color goes, there is like a slight variance between the shades. I would say that the NARS one is just slightly, slightly more peachy. What I'm really looking for is that texture similarity. This is the glowy Gossamer Duo in Delicate Dew. What's really nice about this as well is that you don't get one but two highlighters but specifically I wanted to talk about this shade over here it's the more like peachy shade in the duo whereas the other one has more of like a pinkier undertone this guy is pretty much the exact same color it has the same soft peachy undertone and it's also again a very very similar texture so next up I wanted to talk about a little gloss dupe that I found. So this is a gloss from Beauty Counter. It's one that I honestly don't really mention a ton on my channel, but I use quite a bit in my everyday life. It's in the shade Sunshine. So it's pretty much like a gold sparkly type gloss. It's very sheer though. So when I apply this on top of like a new lipstick, it sort of just gives like a wash of gold sparkle to the lips, which is really pretty. It doesn't make your lips look metallic or anything. So for the dupe, Milani just released these new glosses. So this is called the Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper Gloss. And this one is in the shade number 10, Gold Dust. Swatch side by side, you cannot tell these two apart. And I gotta say, I actually kind of love the Milani one just a little bit more. I feel like I just like the texture of the gloss more. It feels a little bit more like the Fenty Gloss Bomb. I'm gonna pop this on my lips right now so you guys can just get a good idea of what it looks like. You see, it just adds like a little bit of warmth and a ton of really pretty like gold shimmer. So I've been speaking quite a bit about the Laura Mercier new blush color infusion. I've just been really enjoying the shades that I have. I wear them all the time. I just like the way that they apply. So I was really excited to see that I actually had a dupe for the shade Cure Royale. So this is what it looks like. It's a deep plum blush. So personally for me, this is not really a blush shade that would really work for my skin tone. This is much more suited for more of a medium to deep skin tone, but I still had it in my collection and I realized that it was pretty much the exact same color of this um, Rimmel Maxi blush in the shade Rendezvous. These literally look exactly the same. I could not get over how similar they both are. They have the exact same color, the exact same finish. They're both matte. They both have like a really nice creamy texture. Again, I'm always very, very impressed with the Rimmel powder products. I always find them to be unexpectedly creamy. Sometimes powder products in the drugstore can be overly powdery, which just makes them a little bit more difficult to apply. And that's like normally the main difference between like a drugstore powder and a higher end powder. The Rimmel powders do not have that issue at all. They're super, super smooth, which is really what makes them so comparable to something more higher end like the Laura Mercier blush. Very impressed with this little dupe. I was impressed with myself, to be honest with you, the fact that I found this. Okay, another very exciting dupe that I wanted to share with you guys. This is a dupe for the Kosas Velvet Melon Color and Light Cream. This color right over here is stunning, especially for like the spring and summertime. It's just such a unique, almost like creamsicle color. I really had what I thought nothing like it in my collection until I realized that it's pretty much the exact same color to this uh, Burt's Bees a Glow Lip and Cheek Stick, and this one is in the shade Peach Pond. Like I said, this is the exact same color, and this is one of those moments where I actually prefer the drugstore version over the higher end version. 
Don't get me wrong, this is a beautiful product, but the reason why I don't wear this product maybe as often as I would is because it's such an emollient and almost like wet formula that it just slips and slides all over the face. This is not a formula that like dries or sets down. It stays kind of sticky and wet on the skin and that's really beautiful, but when I want something that's actually going to last throughout the day, I just don't go towards this product even though I do really love the effect. However, the Burt's Bee Stick does have a little bit more staying powder. It's still a pretty emollient formula. I don't wanna say that this dries down to like a powdery finish. It's not matte at all. It still has that like glossy finish, but it's definitely not quite as emollient as the Kosas Cream. So that is why I actually prefer this guy over here. So next up, I have two dupes for two of the shades of the YSL Rouge Volupte Shine Lipstick. I have kind of been collecting these for a very, very long time. They're kind of just like my perfect everyday lip color. They're sheer, they're glossy, and they're super comfortable and easy to wear. I would say as far as formula goes, probably the most similar drugstore alternative would definitely be the L'Oreal Color Riche Shine Lipsticks. These are also some of my all-time favorite lip products from the drugstore. Basically, for the exact same reasons as to why I love these. So the first shade match that I have here is for a coral shade. It's number 74 in the YSL and for the L'Oreal, it's in the shade number 916, Luminous Coral. So these are definitely not exact, exact color dupes, but because the formula are so like spot on with each other, I still wanted to mention these because it's still like a similar tone and vibe between the both of them. I would just say that the L'Oreal shade is definitely warmer and deeper where the YSL shade is a little bit more pastel. And again, I actually do prefer the shade of the L'Oreal one. I just find it to be a little bit more wearable. These guys are also pretty similar. This YSL shade is number 73 and then the L'Oreal one is 920 Lacquered Strawberry. These are both sort of like warm raspberry shades. The YSL one is a little bit more red whereas the L'Oreal one is a little bit more pink but still have a very similar vibe and like I said a very similar texture I just wanted to you know show you guys both just to show you the options another lip dupe so this shade from Tarte called angelic nude was like my go-to everyday lipstick for such a long time you could even see the huge divot in the lip product because I used to use this pretty much every single day. Honestly, I haven't used it in a while, but it was a huge favorite of mine at one point. It is a really great everyday color because it's like that perfect like rosy nude that just gives your lips that perfect amount of color. And the texture of it is very hydrating, feels very bomb-like, so it's really easy to wear. And I discovered that this Physician's Formula Butter Lipstick in the shade Flamingo Pink is pretty much the exact same color and also a very similar texture. I would say the only difference between the two is that the Physicians Formula one is a little bit more like glossy. I first tried this actually in a video and you could see my reaction in that video. I was like obsessed with this lip color. I was so excited about it and it makes a lot of sense as to why I loved it so much because now I'm realizing that it pretty much is like the exact same type of color to this Tarte lipstick in Angelic Nude, which is a lip product that I used to wear non-stop. So we've made it to the very last product. This is a blush that has been a part of my life for a very long time. It is the Becca Mineral Blush in the shade Songbird. One of my all-time favorites, more neutral, warm blushes. So the dupe that I found for this color is actually a blush that I've also had in my collection for a very long time. I've definitely mentioned this on my channel quite a bit. It is one of the Wet n Wild Color Icon blushes in apricot in the middle. And I kind of can't believe that I didn't realize how similar these two were in the past because these are two blushes that I have used for a very, very long time. Now I would say these are like 85% dupes. The color um, is pretty much the exact same. It has the same type of warmth. It has the same undertone. It's that same like peachy neutral shade, but I would say that the Becca shade is just a little bit deeper than the Wet n Wild shade. But again, on the cheeks, you could really barely even tell a difference. And the price difference between these two is insane. The Becca blushes are quite pricey. I don't know it off the top of my head, but they're pricey and the Wet n Wild blushes are typically under like $5, so you really can't beat that. So the Wet n Wild one is obviously just such a great alternative. So guys, that finishes off all of the dupes for today. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to let me know all of your thoughts down below as per usual. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.